What's up everybody, this is Danny, and there were a ton of new TVs announced this year, so look out for a full roundup of these amazing TVs, including AK TVs, but right now I'm here at the Hisense booth taking a look at their incredible lineup for 2018, including this insane 150-inch 4K laser TV. It was something that you had to see in person to believe, so I want to thank them for sponsoring this experience. If you checked out my video last year, I showed you the 100-inch 4K laser TV in a preview, but it's available right now with an updated design, a 4K DLP DMD chip, respectable 3000 lumens of brightness, built-in tuner, smart TV built-in with a cool remote to set everything up, and it comes with built-in Amazon Alexa, so this can be the hub of your entire smart home. Since this is a laser projection, you're going to get up to 20,000 hours of bulb life, which is awesome. So think about it, that's 833 days of continuous movie playback or watching something for about 2.2 years straight. So that's pretty crazy. You can get all of this at a fraction of the price of what the competition is charging for 4K ultra short throw systems. It comes with four speakers built into the base, so no need for a sound bar. And it also comes with a wireless subwoofer, all delivering 110 watts of audio, powered by Harman Kardon. This also opens up the possibility with consoles like the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X for 4K gaming. I hope I get to try this out in the near future. This looks pretty awesome. The 100 inch is available now, so link is down below if you want to check it out. There's also a 88 inch and the 80 inch coming soon, just in case 100 inch is too big. Or if that's not big enough, Hisense showed off a massive 150 inch 4K laser TV. I got to check it out in a theater setup. The picture was absolutely mind blowing. It was sharper than I ever thought it would be for 150 inches. The colors were vibrant. The details were there. I didn't want to leave. It's the same laser setup as the 100 inch, same audio with wireless subwoofer, which filled that entire room, which was surprising. And I'm not sure when this thing will actually come to market, but my guess is that we'll see a lot more of this in the next year. I have a feeling with these 4K ultra short throws over time with their convenient form factors, we'll make projection more mainstream in the near future. I'm excited for it. Hisense also announced a legit refresh to their full TV lineup for 2018. My favorites are the flagship H10e and the H9e Plus models. Of course, you get 4K resolution with Quantum Dot Y color gamut with their Ultra LED or ULED tech with over 1000 backlight zones and full array local dimming. You get HDR10 and now you get support for Dolby Vision, which I think is a great inclusion. And the big deal here is that these two will come with Android TV built in, so full support for the Google Assistant, which I got to try out here, so you can control your entire smart home with your TV if you want to. I got to play some music with voice commands, and I even shamelessly played some of my videos here at their booth. I hope they didn't mind. Other notable things are the minimal bezels and the updated designs, the options up to 480 hertz motion rate, and the support for Bluetooth audio. There's no pricing at this time, but they'll be available in a variety of screen sizes, so look out for some reviews when these TVs drop. Hisense also refreshed their mid-range lineup with the H9e and the H8e. These TVs will have the Hisense Smart TV software, but will come with Amazon Alexa built-in, which is nice, so you'll get 4K, HDR10, local dimming, Bluetooth audio, and they'll be available in a range of sizes from 43 inches to 65 inches. There were some budget models announced here as well, and some cool concepts like this retro TV. I really enjoyed this. I think they look cool. There was also a ton of 8K TVs here as well. Seeing all of this really makes me excited for the TV market in 2018. They're just getting cheaper. More features are getting packed in. This is a great time to keep your eyes open for a new TV if you're in the market for one. So I'll be covering a ton of them this year on my channel. So make sure you subscribe for more. Click that like button if you enjoyed this and to support the channel. Stay tuned for part two of the best TVs of 2018 in a roundup fashion from here at CES 2018. And I will see you guys in the next one.